Fortnite Season 7 has hands down been one of the most controversial seasons of Battle Royale yet, as a lot of pro players and content creators alike have been claiming that Fortnite just doesn't feel the same anymore. With that, the hype surrounding Fortnite's new season, Season 8, is still going strong, but without proper changes, Season 8 might finally be the downfall of the world's most popular video game. What's up guys, and welcome back to the Simply Fortnite channel, thanks for stopping by. If you guys are new around here, feel free to subscribe with your channel notifications turned on by clicking that little bell icon, that way you'll always know when a new video goes up on the channel. If you guys are excited for the new Season 8 update, let us know by dropping a like on this video and giving it a big thumbs up. Last but not least, make sure to let us know down in the comments below one thing that you would want to change about Fortnite for Season 8. Now without further ado, let's jump back into the world of Fortnite Battle Royale and take a look at 8 changes that Fortnite needs to make in preparation for Season 8. As I mentioned, in recent weeks, a lot of popular Fortnite content creators and pro players have stepped forward saying Fortnite isn't feeling fun anymore, including people like Tfue, Courage, and a handful of other mainstream streamers and players. Since these remarks have come out, the community in general is quickly losing interest in Season 7's gameplay outside of the storyline pushing into Season 8. Now with that said, let's jump into the list of things that we think need to be changed. Number 1. Planes When Season 7 launched, a brand new vehicle was introduced into the game in the form of planes, also known as the X-Force Stormwing. At first, players were loving the ability to fly around the map quickly and efficiently, all while soaring over the Fortnite island in style. But quickly, everyone learned just how annoying the planes actually were. Constant spam from the turrets meant builds were getting destroyed instantaneously. Buildings, huts, and everything alike stood no chance against the plane's boost, and ultimately planes became the worst third-partying technique in Fortnite history. Now after an entire season of plane spam constantly causing L's left and right, hopefully Season 8 will bring a new piece into the Fortnite land, and planes will be removed once and for all. You might be wondering why they haven't been removed yet here in Season 7, and really it just boils down to the weekly challenges, as a handful of certain challenges all require the planes to be available to all players. So really that's why Epic couldn't vault them this season. But come Season 8, there are no strings attached, and hopefully the skies will become barren once again. Number 2. Health for Kills Ever since the Siphon Limited Time mode debuted during the 14 days of Fortnite events, players have been wanting to see a Health for Kills type scenario implemented into a regular playlist. Not only does Health for Kills play towards a more aggressive playstyle, but it also speeds up the core pace of any given match, as players don't necessarily need to focus on hunting down minis and 50 pots constantly, but instead can focus on finding players to reward them with health and shield instead. Add in the ability to earn materials and maybe even ammo by getting kills such as in the Team Rumble and other respawn modes, and you'd have yourself quite the chaotic match, something that a lot of players are hoping will soon become a reality here in just a few short weeks with Season 8's launch. Number 3. Bringing Back Shockwaves A little while back, the impulse grenades were vaulted and removed from the game, leaving only the shockwave grenade in its place, which some people were fine with and others weren't. It took away the ability to knock players down via fall damage, but also added in a much greater boost in overall projection, so give some here, take some there, shockwaves were a mediocre replacement. But then, out of nowhere, the shockwaves were vaulted too, leaving players without any fun way to bounce around the map besides balloons which really were not too hot at the time. Taking out shockwaves and impulses was definitely a bad move from a lot of players' perspectives, and hopefully with Season 8, Epic Games will add the shockwaves back into the game since they seem to favor those over impulses. But honestly, I'd take either at this point because, let's be real here, my subbox has had a severe lack of impulse and shockwave grenade related clips and funny moments. Number 4. Improvements to the Audio System Audio has been a pretty questionable feature in Fortnite for quite some time now as a lot of competitive and professional players claim that the audio system just isn't accurate enough, especially the vertical audio. 
people are actually claiming that it's incredibly hard to decipher if a player is right above you or right below you or two or three floors away from you in all reality. In fact, the issue has become so bad that some streamers such as Tfue have even tried turning on visual audio cues in the colorblind settings just to help them figure out where these sounds are actually coming from. Of course, 3D audio in a battle royale game is huge and it needs to be spot on for the game to function properly. And with the addition of ranks play coming in season 8 with the share the love event wrapping up, audio improvements are a big must from a competitive standpoint. Number 5. Replacing Dusty Divot There are quite a few areas on the Fortnite map that are probably due for an update. For instance, Junk Junction, Haunted Hills, and just in general that entire corner of the map, as well as Lonely Lodge and even a few others. But above all, one of the most stale points of interest right now is Dusty Divot. Ever since the meteor crash happened and the Divot was created, the center of the map as a whole just has not been a great place to drop or even hang around as the loot is sparse, except for wood materials, and in general it's just not a super high action area unless you're playing Team Rumble, because apparently 95% of matches seem to end near there. Regardless though, the center of the island should be a hot drop every single match, and it should constantly have gunfire coming from every single direction. But as it stands right now, Dusty Divot is not meeting that criteria. And thus, out of all of the locations on the map that need to be updated, Dusty Divot stands as my number one. Number 6. New Crossover Limited Time Modes the Infinity Gauntlet Limited Time Mode featured Thanos from Avengers Infinity War and was easily a top 5 limited time mode in history. Even if you didn't like the actual gameplay and maybe you thought Thanos was a bit overpowered, you gotta admit, being able to play as Thanos was absolutely awesome. Unfortunately though, since the Infinity Gauntlet Limited Time Mode ended, we haven't seen any other LTMs like it since, and here in Season 8 I think that that needs to change. Whether we see another Avengers crossover with the Endgame movie dropping soon, or even if it's something completely different, another mainstream crossover event would be huge and much appreciated by the majority of the community. Number 7. Vaulting the Minigun Back in the golden days, we had the Drum Gun, which was the pinnacle of the spray meta in its heyday. By the way, were you guys playing Fortnite when the Drum Gun was around? Let us know in the comments. Anyways, the spray meta was dominated by the drum gun like I said, and what happened to the drum gun because of that? It was vaulted. And now the minigun lies culprit in destroying build after build with no counter except running away, yet the minigun has yet to be vaulted. So Epic Games, I believe we live in a world where all guns are treated equal, and if the drum gun was vaulted for too much spraying, I think that the minigun deserves the exact same treatment. Your move Donald Mustard. Your move. Number 8. Add the option to go prone. I'm guessing this one probably was not something that you'd expect to see on this list, but just hear me out for this one. Fortnite's gameplay is special. It's unique. Its third person only mode allows for skins, wraps, and just general customization to shine each and every game. But when it comes to actual gameplay, Fortnite is missing one feature in general that a lot of other battle royales have and that is the ability to go prone, or just lay down. Now, I don't think a prone mechanic would be the next ultimate way to achieve a victory royale, I really just don't think it'd be that incredibly useful in general, but I do think that it would be incredibly, incredibly fun to use. I can already envision the amount of clips focusing on people lying prone and hiding in the middle of a field and having countless players run right past without any clue. In general, I just think that the hilarity that could spawn from a prone mechanic would be awesome to see, and in all honesty, it's nothing too outlandish in my mind. I just think proning could bring some pretty fun benefits to the game that would certainly change things up, even if it's just a small and minor change at that. And there you guys have it, those are 8 changes that I think need to happen for Fortnite Season 8. With that being said, that effectively wraps up today's video. Make sure to drop us a comment down below saying one thing that you guys would change with the Season 8 update. Of course, if you guys did enjoy today's video, let us know by dropping a like on it and giving it a big thumbs up as it would be much appreciated. And if you guys are brand new here to the Simply Fortnite channel, feel free to subscribe with your channel notifications turned on, that way you'll never miss another upload. Of course, by clicking that bell icon and joining the notification squad, not only do you become super cool, but you also get notified via YouTube messages every single time we upload a new video, that way you can be the first person to watch, like, and comment on each and every new post. 
Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll see you guys on the Battle Bus. Peace out.